Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with another completely new video and I'm going to be reacting to Genshin Impact for the first time. Alright, again I'm going to like talk about a little bit about my Genshin Impact experience. Uh, I, I'm playing this, like you know, currently I am playing this game and I've been playing it for quite a while again. Now, uh, I started this game from when it released. You know, I, like I was there from the first day. And I got to know f uh, about this game not from YouTube or anything, you know. Like I got to know about this game because I was a Honkai Impact player, and at that moment, like you know, uh, there was this whole thing where like everyone was like you know talking about uh, Mihoyo making a new game, Genshin Impact, and it's going to be out like you know uh, open world, all that stuff. And that's why like you know I pre-registered, I like you know got into the game, I played it for quite a while and then unfortunately uh, for some stuff like you know uh, my like some important stuff irl i had to stop playing the game for a few months because i like i really did not have the time to invest in it and i stopped playing the game and i never thought i would go come back to it until something happened and i um, like you know the housing system was introduced Rosalia was introduced and unfortunately I was not uh, like you know unable to get I was unable to get Rosalia I was a bit too late and Eula was introduced and uh, like those like you know those few things kind of brought me back to the game again I love housing systems and games and I never thought Genshi would have something like that so we're having it now and I'm really happy about that and at the same time like you know Ros Rosalia's Gatizan was so damn good Unfortunately, I still don't have her, as I said, like, you know, I was a bit too late to get into the game back again, but I have Eula, you know, I got, I was able to get Eula, I was able to save up for her and get her, and, uh, yeah, now I'm playing the game again, so, yeah, it's, it's uh, like, you know, so I'm, I'm kind of like a person who is, who has been in Genshin for quite a while, but, but in the middle of it, I kind of, like, stopped playing for a while, and because of that i did not get the uh, the liar thing that we get you know like i missed that completely and then there's these little i'm not sure what they're called pets or something like uh purple blue yellow things kind of hovering around you i also did not get them so those are some little like you know like i hope we get some kind of uh rerun where we get them back again i'm not sure but or somehow they give us those again so yeah uh, so yeah, that was my background on Genshin Impact, and I'm not as and uh, my status. I'm not a complete FTV player. I don't buy the battle pass. I only, I only bought the battle pass one time, the first time, and then I did not buy it again. And but I uh, like you know I buy the Welkin pack every month. So in a way, it's kind of FTV, but not at the same time. So yeah, that's just it and uh yeah so let's get started this is the immovable god and the eternal ethumia trailer reaction version 2.0 i did not see the trailer and i have not seen the live stream either uh, i'll check the trailer out now and in, in future like you know later on on my spare time i'm going to like check out the live stream so yeah so let's start with the trailer now so this is um my first genshin impact video reaction so here we go let's start Mondstadt is the city of freedom, and Leo is the city of contracts. As for Inazuma, <coughs> oh boy, Inazuma is here. Of eternity. Is this going to be Inazuma? Shogun, focused exclusively on her single goal of implementing eternity. Wow, this is like a shipwreck. To introduce you to the Raiden Shogun, but before that, there is one other place I was hoping you both would accompany me to. Wow, this place is beautiful. When a person's ambition reaches a certain strength, the gods look upon them with favor. Oh, I... Words, a person's vision represents their ambition. Oh, the new characters we kind of got a little glimpse of them. Oh, we're going to get an electro power. Yeah. Oh boy. That reminds me. Okay, this will be cool. Oh boy, we have samurais and stuff. The feeling that something is missing. For to be stripped of one's vision is to be stripped of one's ambition. As one who is thrown into the sea, though he fights back desperately against his predicament, it does nothing to prevent his descent into the depths. Oh, what? The flame hypostasis, isn't it? Yeah. Oh boy, there's like a... Okay, we're getting a lot of things, I can see from here. 
Jai Sakura. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. This is also really pretty. Perhaps in the eyes of a deity such as the Almighty Shogun, the lives of those who inhabit the world are inconsequential. Oh my god. In the name of the Vision Hunt Decree, the people's aspirations are being senselessly trampled. Ayaka, okay. Thus, we cannot remain indifferent to this situation without also remaining indifferent to our own. Okay, who's that guy? It is time for me to honor my word. Kamisata Ayaka. Okay. My apologies. Kamisato out. Sometsu. Sometsu. Don't forget that challenging the vision hunt decree is tantamount to challenging a deity. When you are ready, go to Hanamizaka. Hanamizaka. Firework shop run by the Nagamura. Oh, is this Yoimiya? I think so. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. So first we're getting Ayaka and then Yoimiya. Okay. Oh, Sayu. I think she's a she's a dendro character, isn't she? Yeah. Winjutsu. <laughs> Watatsumi Island. Have rallied together under Sangonomiya on Watatsumi Island to form a resistance group. Sangonomiya. Oh, this this girl, another new character. Oh, she's an electro character. She's also a general in the Shogun's army. The resistance never betrays its own. Okay. You say, why would such a task be left to the Tenryo Commission? The wait is over, my comrades. Oh, another character. She's a hydro character, okay. And there she is, Raiden Shogun. You will be inlaid upon this statue. Whoa! <laughs> the more immovable god and the eternal youth Timia. Oh, is this the new power? Oh god, whoa. It's interesting. Oh. Phantom follow. The return of McKinnis stays of wonder. Lost riches. Okay, <gasps> Excuse me. Okay, we have a bow and a sword and some four star new weapons as well damn these are like really good looking <laughs> some artifacts um energy recharge elemental burst attack okay okay is that the end yeah all right first of all let me check one thing uh this is energy recharge and increase elemental burst damage by 25 percent to recharge a maximum 75 percent bonus damage can be obtained this way 75 percent bonus damage okay um and this one is attack and uh, while well, casting uh, character has 15 more energy lose 15 energy uh, and attack damage is increased by 50 percent okay i think this is quite um this will be quite handy i think this one uh shimenawa's reminiscence it has 18 percent attack which is quite similar to gladiators uh the artifact of the, gla the gladiator artifact and then it has a uh, 15 more lose 15 energy and normal charge punching attack damage is increased by 50 percent for 10 seconds 50 percent okay ah uh, all right and this one's elemental burst damage and, uh, and 75 percent bonus damage okay both of them are quite uh, handy all right and the let me see the weapons it like okay the, the five star weapons are um thundering pulse it's really cool looking and I think this is most probably meant for uh, Raiden Shogun, isn't it? Oh no, not Raiden Shogun, sorry. Uh, no, I, I don't, I, we don't even know, I think, uh, if Raiden Shogun, I think she'll obviously be a sword user. 
I think so because I don't know. Uh, this will I, so this will be for facial. I think I don't know. Like who is this weapon intended for then? Oh, um, that girl who we're probably going to get in the uh, future updates. So the girl uh, who we saw, like you know, using electro bow weapon uh, in this trailer. I think for her. And then this this weapon, this sword. I'm I'm guessing this is for Raiden Shogun. And then the next one, uh, okay, um, Hamayumi, another bow, uh, Amenawa Kage Kageuchi, Kitan Cross Spear, Kasura Gikiri Nagamasa, Hakshin Ye Ring. Alright, some four star weapons. Unfortunately, being an F2P player, <laughs> like, you know, I don't really, really even think about the weapons because, like, that will be too much. We barely even get the characters that we want. <laughs> okay so all right that was my reaction to this trailer a lot of things we got to see here a lot of things i mean uh we i think we got to see the whole structure how the inazuma is going to be how we're going to go, go into it you know the the our, uh, the sceneries and it looked beautiful obviously i think obviously inazuma is i'm guessing um what can i say like has more uh it's supposed to be uh a, a japanese like you know uh what can i say uh like a setting it's supposed to be a ja japanese setting i'm guessing from the cherry blossoms and from the all the um what do you call them the buildings and all and especially the names of the characters like uh kamisato ayaka then uh, raiden shogun and Ryoimiya. like all these new characters their names are very like you know japanese and i love the place from the small little sneak peeks that we got just a sec oh god okay just a sec um where is that portion yeah it's like it kind of looks like a lot like um liue you know the buildings and all like the, the towns but there are a lot of cherry blossom trees i can see that and um yeah and i'm, I'm guessing we're going to get the power of the electro uh, electro power like we already have i'm talking about the traveler uh, we already have the geo and the animo power so i'm going, guessing we're going to get the electro power as well and it looks kind of cool and I, I don't even use the traveler now so i'll like again start using her <laughs> you know uh, after we get this power and um, yeah okay so my what can i say like who will i go for so i i already have had a plan before like you know like after getting eula i decided i'll stop spending and i'll like uh, focus on two characters uh, at that moment yoimiya was still not even like you know introduced we only had little sneak peeks that we're going to get a pyro bow character and i really need a pyro character so i like i thought that okay i'm not going to use anything i'm going to wait for the pyro bow character and we, we've seen like yoimiya now and i really love her design so i won't go for ayaka you know because i have a cryo uh, character uh, yula uh, so i probably won't need her that much but i really love her like you know setting and all the way she kind of fights and also her um the thing the sprinting thing where she kind of goes into the uh, earth and kind of like you know sprints just like mona does and that will be really cool but unfortunately like this is genshin we're talking about if i try to go for ayaka i won't be able to go for any other characters so i'll skip on ayaka i'll go for yoimiya i have like my main target is yoimiya and then i'll, I'll again stop using you know i'll again stop using unless and until Raiden Shogun comes in. I'm sure we'll get her in the future. You know, Raiden Shogun. Uh, I think her name is Baal, I think. Uh, and my main reason for getting her is because, as I said, like, I'm, I'm a Honkai Impact player and she is, like, you know, everything about her screams me. So, <laughs> even her name, Raiden, you know, like, <laughs> and uh, she also looks like me. She has thunder, like, you know, like, electro powers and all that stuff. So, that's why. And she she's supposed to be um what do you call them uh what are they called the gods um the art 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 guns I think that's what they're called like I think that's what they called I'm, I'm not sure I'm I'm talking about like Venti and um uh, Zhongli like both of them I think that archons they're called archons yeah archons you know like she, she's supposed to be an archon so i i don't have any archon like i neither have venti nor have zhongli so that's why i'm also like targeting on her so yeah like so 
uh, for now yoimiya and uh, raiden these two are my main uh, targets uh, i have a lot of primos saved up um currently i have 19k <laughs> 19k primos i'm sure i'm going to get yoimiya even if i lose the 50 50 you know by the time yoimiya comes in i'm sure like even if i lose the 50 50 i can go again and get yoimiya i'm sure about that because my pt counter is currently at like you know i need 40 more pulls to get my pt so like i'm definitely getting yoimiya that's for sure but i'm not so sure about uh raiden so let's see what happens and like you know like <laughs> a funny thing like like i've seen a lot of people actually are being unable to save primos they always want those new characters but i'm very accustomed to saving because i'm an fgo player you know i, I also play fgo so <laughs> fgo really teaches you to keep your patience because otherwise it's brutal for like you know people like us who really like you know does not spend money and similarly like you know like i'm i actually am able to uh stop my like you know greed from overpowering me <laughs> because i really want you in here i even want sayu i even want that character that bow wielding uh electro character i want all of them but unfortunately that's not how the real world works so yeah you need to make sacrifices for getting something good <laughs> oh boy okay anyways um so yeah, that's like my future plans for Genshin Impact and it's going to take a lot of time. I'm not even sure when uh, uh, Raiden Shogun will come, uh, probably uh, December, like time during time or maybe in the next year. I'm not even sure. Like Yoimiya we're getting, I think we're getting Yoimiya within um, July, August, September, I guess, something like that. So yeah, during that time frame, but we, we're not still sure about Raiden Shogun. So yeah, it's, it's probably going to take a lot of time, but I'll wait, you know, I'll be able to wait, I guess, I hope. And uh, yeah, so uh, oh, also another thing I have to talk about in this trailer is Yaizakura. Now, I'm not sure, like, you know, what Yaizakura is going to be, is she's going to be like a playable character or uh, if you don't know Yaizakura, Yaizakura is a character from Honkai Impact, you know, and like i would have loved to you know roll for her if she really comes but i'm not sure like whether she'll come or she's just like a character just there i'm sure that she'll come in the future because she is like a lot of people are really excited about her so yeah and it's like a really great like you know kind of like a little crossover <laughs> genshin and honkai in a way uh just like uh, the crossover we're having in uh, honkai impact but yeah uh, i'm not sure let's just wait for it and uh, what else and we saw a lot of new characters at the same time we saw a guy uh, uh, who has little horns in his head i'm not sure if he's going to be a playable character i think he's going to be a playable character and then we also saw this another guy uh, wielding a bow has little uh, ears and a tail i think and uh, he's also going to be a new character i'm not sure what his name is and um also sayu we saw her and Sa i think sai is going to be the first gender character isn't she like i'm quite like uh, i don't know like i'm really uh, compelled to roll for her because she's going to be a dendro character but i should not probably so because as i said like i'm saving for a few characters so i'm not sure if we get a four star dendro character i'm definitely going to roll for him or her but not for sayu i think i'll keep like you know i'll keep that I'll keep my PT counter as well so that I can get the characters that I really want in the future. Oh, and also I, I forget, forgot her. Another character we saw is like a Hydro character, I think. She, I'm not sure what her name is, but she kind of looks like, like not looks like, but her power kind of reminds me of Barbara. Like, you know, kind of water balls kind of floating around and I'm guessing she's a Hydro character. Five star most probably. She has quite a cool design, I have to say, like, you know, her clothing design yeah and uh, and then in the end we get a little glimpse of raiden shogun and i already love her you know uh, character design she looks so good and she has little hints of may in her and uh, yeah like i'm definitely rolling for her I, I'll, I'll 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 definitely save for her and i'll i'll make sure that i definitely get her um yeah so 
yeah that was it that was my reaction to this trailer uh, a few things we also saw here is that uh, some new bosses i think uh, i think we saw the uh, pyro hypostasis and like a, a few other things as well um okay what else yeah a few other bosses i think we saw i'm, I'm unable to find them now technically uh, currently but yeah and uh, yeah that's it so this is it okay uh I, I'm trying to see which characters are there, like in the little vision that we saw. Um, Ayaka, Sayu, Yoimiya. Uh, oh, this character is there. She, she like uh, the guy with little horns, you know. Uh, he is also there. So he is a playable, playable character. That girl is there, the, the Hydro girl. Uh, the, the, ear, excuse me, the, the dog ear guy is also there. And uh, Kazuha. All of them are there okay so yeah this will be amazing i can uh, feel it and in the end we also got a little um oh okay coming soon yeah we saw this there's, there's a lot of things that they showed in the end as well there's this thunder sojourn um important target and urgent uh okay yeah i'm guessing these are like the new uh little activities that we can do the phantom flow and what else theater mechanicus stage of wonders and uh, lost riches i'm guessing lost riches is obviously the whole like you know the mora thing that we get and the ley line uh, ley line overflow uh, and the new weapons okay yeah so yeah guys that was it that was my reaction to uh, version 2.0 the immovable uh, immovable god and the eternal ethumia so yeah i'm going to check out the live stream later on on my own so yeah so thank you guys for watching this was my reaction and if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll check them out and uh, yeah so uh, about my genshin impact videos I'm, I'm going to make new videos if new trailers come out i'm definitely going to make videos on them and in the future i might do little gameplay videos as well i'm not sure when i'll do them or like you know which portions i'll cover but because genshin impact is like an open world game you need to really put a lot of uh you know what can i say commitment to it to actually start it so because i usually do a lot of other videos as well and I'm, I'm kind of hesitating uh but i might do stuff in the future so yeah like you know like show off my characters maybe take a little tour in my uh, pot you know my housing <laughs> or like you know do some little like challenges and all and uh, all that new stuff so yeah guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video so until then goodbye and have a nice day